Joining me today is my dear friend Kathy Staples from Sweet Greek in Paran. Of course, she's going to be making me one of her sensational recipes. What have you got in store today? Hi, Justine. Thank you for having me here today. Well, today we're going to make this delicious potato croquette using some Greek cheeses oh. Oh, and that's the key to this today and on top of that we're going to be using katayfi pastry. So for those at home that don't know what katayfi pastry is, what is it? Katayfi pastry is a batter that is fundamentally poured onto this hot plate and mm. it forms these little strings as we know it yeah. and that's really what it is, it's almost like a pancake batter. Mm. I like to use it to coat things or cover yeah. things with like your prawns, your nut mixtures. Exactly. Today we're going to coat the cheese and potato mixture with them. So what can I do to help you? What I'd like you to do to begin with is we've got our lovely potatoes that have been boiled with the skin on okay. and I need you to use this wonderful ricer mm -hmm. and pop them in this bowl. Okay. Now Justine don't bother taking the skin off mm -hmm. because the ricer will do that for you. It makes it easy and while you're doing that mm -hmm. I'm going to actually um, get your eggs ready. Nice. This is a great little investment having a ricer at home when you want to make just mashed potatoes or if you want to make gnocchi, it is Absolutely. so handy. Absolutely. Look how easy that is. So Look at that. Easy. And we should say that these have been steamed in their skins because it's going to retain their flavour and we're also going to ensure that we don't get a waterlogged potato. Correct. All right, so uh, egg yolks just for this recipe. Yeah. I don't think we need the moisture of the egg whites. Exactly. Okay, last potato. And I'm just, you know, always fascinated by the ricer. I just really love it. It's such a wonderful thing to have in the kitchen. There we go. And this is such an easy recipe, Justine, and you know, you've got it ready there. That's nice and hot. I'm going to give you your egg yolks now, pop okay. them in. And to that now, I want you to add some butter. Okay. Butter's at room temperature. We're going to add some milk. Okay, how much milk? Oh, a couple of tablespoons, roughly, about that. About that. Yeah. yeah about and that. I guess every potato is going to be different. We're using Desiree potatoes, which is the yeah. right potato to use, but you do want to make sure that you add some milk mix it in and add some more because every potato may take a little more or a little less. That's right and I just find people often ask me what potatoes to use and I, you know for me um, I'd like to use a Desiree because it's a great all-rounder. Look at the texture of that. Isn't that beautiful? So good. Isn't that? And you, we need to add the cheese into that as well now. So what kind of cheese is this? So this is really important. This is a what we call a sheep's milk cheese and it's called <laughs> Vlachotiri and um, it's a divine sheep's milk cheese, nutty in flavour, and I use it a lot in my cooking, so it's a beautiful cheese. Salt and pepper in that? Just a, a pinch. pinch. A pinch, but lots of cracked pepper if you like. Okay. Now, Cathy, you know I have to ask, if we can't find that beautiful cheese, yes. what's the other options? Yes. yes, and of course, there's always options in cooking, and I think that's important too, and we shouldn't get bogged down by these little details. If you can't find it, mm -hmm. by all means, use tasty cheese. Use pecorino, use reggiano, use whatever you can find. It's got a little bit of a bite to it. That's what we want. How's that consistency? That's beautiful, Justine. Mm -hmm. Well, we've only got one more element to put in here and that's some chives. Can we just finely dice them up? We just need a few chives in there and they add a little bit of greenness into our croquette. They add that additional bit of flavour, but it's a subtle flavour, not like an onion, as strong as an onion. This would be just delicious as is too, on a side. Mm. Mm. Cheesy mashed with chives, mm. so good. So we'll finally chop them. Delicious. I find they give you that colour that you need often um, and that subtleness without having the strength of an onion. Oh, this is good, Justine. I mean, I, I, I think you should even try it as it is. Well, if you insist. I do, I do. You know what it's like. You've got to keep trying as you go along. <laughs> Isn't that good? So, Justine, can we get this into the fridge now to cool down just a little bit? And while that's happening, we're going to crush our katafi pastry. Sounds good. All right, Kathy, this is firmed up nicely. It certainly has, Justine. So we're ready now to make our beautiful little cheesy potato mm. balls. <laughs> I need you to just quickly whisk these. And you have to add a little bit of milk into that. Okay. And while you're doing that, I'm going to get the ball ready so we can get them going. Now, we're going to make a couple, right, and fry them, and then, you know, we'll just keep going and go.
gold till they're golden brown anyway. Absolutely. So this is our little production line. We've got the flour, the egg, and then our glorious katiifi. That was mm. so therapeutic. Wasn't it wonderful? <laughs> now, by see, I'll just show you, Justine. Yes, see, please. by um, by putting this in the fridge for just a couple of minutes, even mm. five minutes. Look how easy I'm able to roll this into a ball. Yeah. And then I'm going to. This is not just like what did it cheese. It's going one step further. We're putting feta into it as well. She knows the way to my heart. So you see, see look at that. <laughs> we make a little hole. Yep. We take this little bit of feta, just a little bit. You know, you can. Crumble it up further. In it goes. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Oh, yes, wow. Isn't so it good. gorgeous? Then we close it. Yep. Shape it again just quickly because we want this to look beautiful. I always oh. say we eat with our eyes first. You're so spot things on. have to be beautiful yeah. first and tasty second. Mm -hmm. There we go. go. Flour, thing. eggs, and gabefi pastry. So and easy. I'm just going to keep going. All right. I like the sound of that. Justine, this is um, this is what we're looking for. Oh yes, they really don't take long at this stage because no, it's, it's already cooked. cooked. Everything is cooked. All we're looking is making this beautiful kadafi pastry, yep. gold and brown, and I think we've got that here now. Mm. So Justine, I'm going to get you to assemble this beautifully on that little plate sure of ours. Can. As we go along, be careful. Hot, 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 hot. hot, hot. This katiifi looks fantastic. I really love this alternative to bread crumbs. Correct, you know exactly. And when you eat it, it goes crunch, 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 crunch. Oh. <laughs> Music to our ears, right? Oh, no. We love a bit of crunch. Gorgeous. Now we have one more thing left to do, mm -hmm. and that's to grate some more of Lakwa Didi on our beautiful croquettes here. Okay. Here we go. Raining cheese. Go, go, go. Ah. Look at that. <laughs> beautiful cheese. Justine, I think it's time for us to try. Okay. You have to go first because I want you to tell me what you think of this. Okay. I want to break into this. Yeah. Oh, oh my oh, God. Look at that. Now, if that's not good goodness <laughs> on a plate, I don't know what is. It is piping hot. Yeah, be careful. But it's worth it. These are... The best croquettes you will have this year. Mm. Cheese, 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 potato, way to my heart. I love Greek, it, Kathy. Greek cheese, oh. sheep's milk cheese. Always Greek <laughs> cheese, of course, of course, when Kathy's here.